Hello ladies and gentlemen, I promised you a quick tutorial to help you with the maths involved in this task and here it is. So first of all, how many photos taken on an iPhone can you store with one gigabyte of space? The average photo size for an iPhone these days is 3.15 megabytes. So we're going to fire up the calculator. So if you just hit the Windows button, uh, there you go, there's a calculator. So there are 1024 megabytes in a gigabyte divided by well we said each one is one 3.15 and so there we have it 325 is how many of those files you'll fit in there so there's your answer how many songs can you store well one gigabyte is still 1024 megabytes the file size this time is slightly larger so you'll need to calculate that okay a terabyte so when we get to this one a terabyte is 1,024 gigabytes. So, you know, write this down if it helps. So we'll swap over to the calculator. So, let's just clear that last answer out. 1,024 divided by, now how big did we say each movie is? Right, we said it's 1.5 gigabytes. So, divided by 1.5 equals, there you go, we could store 682 at that rate. We go back and in fact our closest answer is around 700. So that's those types of questions and I just clicked on the wrong answer there. Um, the next type of questions is basically how much are we paying per gigabyte when we buy storage in a particular way. So first up, the formula to use is how many, um, how much are we paying? So we're paying, let's say we're paying eight dollars and we're getting eight gigs of um, storage space so we're paying eight for eight so we're paying one dollar each so let's follow the link and see how much we actually pay and we'll do the maths on this one so here we go here on officeworks that's my dog you can hear parking in the background um, here we go eight gigabyte drive about six bucks about five bucks about five bucks about five bucks about five bucks eight bucks eight eight eh. so we could use a price from sort of five to eight let's um in fact let's do both of those so if we're only paying five dollars if we're getting one of the cheaper ones so five divided by eight equals okay 62 cents so we go back and look for the nearest price is 75 let's assume that we're buying one of the more expensive ones which is eight dollars so it's eight divided by 8 is a dollar and that would still be the nearest price so this next one where it says how much you're paying per gigabyte for 128 gigabyte thumb drive it's a little bit misleading when you go through the first one to come up well, at least when I'm doing it is a 256 so that's throwing your price out generally speaking though you're looking at prices from 82 99 that one's really expensive, $300. Uh, that one's really expensive. Um, this one's down to $50, $119. I would work with a price of $100. Um, there's a real variability on the, um, on the big memory sticks, and that tends to be the case until they become much more common. Uh, and so you continue. So your formula that you use is price divided by how many gigabytes it is that you're getting. And that should see you through to the end of the task. So good luck with that and I will um, see you soon.